So Gordon, we're covering this, this astronomical event, the transit of Venus. And, you know, and it's really cool that we're going to see Venus crossing the disk of the Sun. But I guess the question is, do we really know a lot about Venus? We know a lot about Venus. You know, it's one of the first uh, planets that uh, was visited by a spacecraft. In fact, over 30 spacecrafts have been attempted to go to Venus. About 25 of them have succeeded. In fact, this is a planet that has uh, witnessed some landers. So we have actually images and balloons. So, you know, balloons have flown in the atmosphere of Venus. So this is a planet that we know quite well. Yet there are still very many mysteries left on how this planet works. And what are some of those mysteries about Venus? Well, you know, we consider Venus to be a sister planet to Earth in, in the sense that it's about the same size as Earth. Mm -hmm. It's almost identical in terms of its uh, diameter. Uh, and also, it was formed at the same time uh, as the Earth in the pre-solar nebula and also uh, out of the same raw materials. Yet, the planet is so different from the Earth in terms uh, of its environment. For example, uh, Venus spins on its axis in the opposite direction that the Earth does. Now, why is that? We don't know. It's a, it's a mystery. We do not understand why that is so. Uh, also, it's rotating very slowly. Its day uh, is 243 Earth days, and it goes around the sun uh, in 225 days. So you could see that it's, it's a very slowly rotating body. Now, with that slow rotating body, how is that How's the atmosphere and how's, the, how's that all affected? Well, that's another mystery uh, uh, on Venus. Uh, as you know, Venus has a global cloud cover. So if we were to actually fly by uh, Venus and look out the uh, spacecraft window, we cannot see the surface anywhere. Another strange fact is that this global cloud cover is not made out of water vapor as on Earth, but it's so very acid droplets. Which would be dangerous here on Earth. Which would be yeah. very dangerous. Another thing about it is that uh, the atmosphere is rotating 60 times faster than this planet uh, underneath it. It's called a super rotation and that's another mystery. Dynamicists have been struggling for over 30 years to try to understand what drives the super rotation of, of, this, of this global cloud cover itself. The other thing about the atmosphere of Venus is that it's very thick. So on the surface of the planet, if you were to stand on it, the atmospheric pressure is about 90 times that of the Earth's uh, atmospheric pressure. That's equivalent to being under the ocean at one kilometer depth or a half a mile. So it's extremely dense atmosphere at the surface of Venus. And it's also extremely hot. It's about 900 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to melt lead. So uh, Venus is an example of a runaway greenhouse. It is uh, extremely warm. If you land a lander on the surface, I mean, we hadn't had landers that would survive that long on the surface, right? In fact, no lander has survived for more than about an hour. It's been incredibly difficult to make uh, uh, landers uh, operate in this incredibly dense pressure, uh, very acidic atmosphere, uh, and also try to get rid of the heat. So is there any, is there any current technologies, uh, maybe looking at carbon-carbon composites, any type of composite technology that you think could survive a little bit longer than it's that? It's not or? the problem of surviving in terms of the structure. We will build uh, vessels that go, you know, uh, down to the bottom of the ocean, right? It's, it's not that. It's the heat, how to get rid of the heat, how to be able to operate in this uh, I think very hostile environment, an environment which is, is, is very difficult to be able to keep the electronics inside from cooking itself right. to bits. So I guess it wouldn't really make any sense from a, from a human exploration perspective to send a spacecraft out with humans to orbit Venus to study. And the, you know, it's, it may be actually very interesting uh, to do that. You know, uh, in some ways, visiting Venus is actually easier than going to Mars. Orbiting Venus as a, as a trial to orbiting Mars with you know, human exploration, people have talked about that. It's probably easier to do than actually trying to go to some near-Earth asteroids, which, which would take a long time. If you time it right, you could get to Venus in about three months. That uh, really makes it a uh, voyage which may be, you know, very tenable. Right. As a planetary scientist, if NASA came to you and said, okay, Gordon, 
we want to have a mission to go back to Venus, what would you be your primary area of study on Venus? That's interesting that you asked me that because I propose uh, discovery missions to Venus for the past 10 years. Uh, twice, uh, uh, a mission that I proposed called Vesper, which means uh, evening star in Latin, okay. uh, was selected as, as, a, as a, competitor, a competitor in the final round, never chosen. What I would do is try to, under, try to understand why, how the atmosphere works, you know, try to understand the photochemistry of the atmosphere, try to understand the dynamics of the atmosphere, you know, uh, try to understand uh, the forces which stabilize the atmosphere. Venus has an atmosphere which is primarily 95% CO2. Because it's so close to the sun, uh, that CO2 could be broken down into CO uh, in about 200 years. Why is, is the CO2 stabilized? Well, we believe it's stabilized by the same catalytic chemical processes that operate on Earth oh. to destroy ozone. But we don't have the definitive proof right. of, 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 of that. We would like to see how uh, that works. We're finding potentials for thousands of exoplanets, planets which orbit other stars. We are beginning to find planets which are earth size. Now, you know, probably finding an Earth you know, among these uh, extra plan ex extrasolar planets may be very difficult. Venus may be the actual uh, more common you know, uh, objects uh, that we will find. And so trying to understand uh, how Venus works, trying to understand its atmosphere, trying to understand uh, its environment. And that's why uh, doing research on Venus is such an important thing.